Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the full guide on the export settings in CupCut PC. So let's get started. So here we are in CupCut and then from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna import this video. So let's say we're done editing with this, so all we need to do now is export. So click here on export. At the top right of your screen, click on export on this button. And from here what we're gonna do is go here into video exporting right here. So first let's go into video exporting but before that we need to also go to the title and export location right here so for the title whatever you would want to rename your file so let's say sample and then for the export is you need to click this button right here so that you would be able to locate where you want it to be saved easy as that and then after you have done this you can now proceed to the video exporting and then from here you can select your resolution that you want so i just suggest if you're just posting on social media 1080p is enough and for the bit rate if you don't know what bit rate means you probably don't need to mess up with it right here unless you need uh, specific bit rates then you can go for lower higher or customize here in customize you can select the uh, bit rate that you'd want right here and you can use cbr or vvr and now on codec right here it, it, you most likely need just h.264 but since you don't if you don't know what HEVC and AV1 means, then you're probably good with just H.264. This would do the job for you. And for the format, you need to choose either of this, either MOV or MP4. So you can just choose whatever you want right here. And now for the frame rate, right here, whatever you need for the frame rate, you can go for 60 if you want to go slow mo. But I think 30 is enough for me, so I'll just go 30. And then from here, it export audio. You don't need to check to put a check mark on this or to turn this on if you don't want an MP3 file to be uh, created separately from your MP4 file. So even if you don't turn this on, then there you, there will still be audio from your video right here when you export your video right here. This is just if you want a an MP3 file or WAV file right here. And you can also run a copyright check if you want. So yeah, that is basically how you do it. Once you are done with setting this up, you can now click on export and that's basically it for this video.